There were definitely moments in it that I just wanted to give up. We are headed to Diablo CrossFit to do workout two of quarterfinals and uh, it is going to be a long one. I talked to someone who I usually do pretty similarly to in workouts and she said she didn't finish. So I think we're looking at this as a 20 minute AMRAP. So we're gonna get it done. Funny thing, so with my last workout, some people mentioned like, oh, maybe you can do a little better if you redo it and do X. Listen, we're not redoing these workouts. Why would we redo them? There's no need. I'm not going to semifinals. We're doing these once. Welcome to quarterfinals workout two. And uh, this one, was also pretty hard. Actually, I would say probably harder than the first workout that I showed you and said was hard. This may be harder. And there were definitely moments in this workout where I wanted to quit. And when I talked to other people about this workout, they seem to uh, have sort of similar experiences. So what I will tell you, Survival rate for this workout, pretty close to 100%, if not 100%. So when it hurts really bad and you're questioning whether you want to keep going, know that uh, you're probably going to be okay. You're probably going to make it through. And uh, just keep, keep moving. Keep grinding. It sucks. And uh, we're all in it together. So let's all suffer together. Let me put up on the screen what this workout is. It is 50 wall ball shots and 50 lateral burpee box jump overs. Three rounds of that for the women. It is a 14 pound medicine ball to a nine foot target and a 20 inch box. For men, it is 20 pound medicine ball, a 10 foot target and 24 inch box. So slightly higher box for men. In the previous workout, we all use the same boxes. Not true for this one. And the line I am throwing to is above that lower blue one. So there's two lines. The top line is for the men's target. I am just hitting the women's one and uh, sometimes hitting the men's target, but trying to just get over the women's target. And I did get a couple no reps on this workout. I got a couple no reps on the wall ball. And then I also got a couple of, or at least one no rep on the burpee box jump overs. My hand slightly grazes the box on one of them and your hands cannot touch the box. Also, you probably noticed when I started, but when you start, you have to face away from the wall ball, sort of similar to workout one where you had to face away from your barbell. So just something to keep in mind while you're grinding through this workout. So just, just a thought. All right, moving on to these burpee box jump overs. This is the part where things got real. I usually like burpee box jump overs. I like burpees, I'm a burpee fan. But legs, after 50 wall balls, let me tell you, felt them so much more than I had anticipated feeling them. And I turned around thinking maybe I would change it up and I'll be able to see the clock from here. I do not like jumping this direction. So I end up switching back to my normal way of doing burpee box jumps and just facing away from the clock. But this, this workout was a grind and I, uh, I was definitely <laughs> dying this whole time, especially this first round. This first round, if you're doing this workout and you haven't done it yet, um, the first round may have been harder than the second round of burpee box jump overs because I just didn't realize how taxed my legs were gonna feel on that jump after all the wall balls. So definitely something to keep in mind. And uh, it's one of those workouts where your mind is moving slightly faster than your body. So you want to go a little bit faster. You want to go a little bit harder, but your body's just like, nope, we're good. This is, this is all we got. So definitely something to keep in mind. And if you're feeling that way, 
know that you are not alone in those feelings. This, uh, this was much harder than I anticipated. As someone who likes bird beats and doesn't hate burry box jump overs either, but I don't love box jumps and I don't like wall balls. So I probably should have realized those two things. Oh, almost fell off that box there. I uh, lost my balance. Again, my legs, they were just not, not awake, not ready. And uh, wall balls, wall balls crush my legs. So just something to keep in mind as you're doing this. Um, at one point, my judge said something to me like, you got this, keep going. And I was like, I'm trying. And she's like, I didn't say you're not trying. It just, it feels in your head like you're going so much slower than you wish you were going. So something to keep in mind if you're feeling that way. And I'm not standing all the way up on the box. You don't need to. No point in using that extra time work. It's just extra work that you don't need to do. So just jump on the box, stay low, and step off the box. That's my advice to all of you on that. And if you don't know, there's no clock on the screen right now. Usually I put one on through my editing software, but we're looking at the clock above the rig here. It's on the top of your screen. That's the clock we're using. Just easiest to only have one clock as opposed to two that could be slightly off. So doing this, grinding through, definitely uh, in a moment where I am debating how much I, I really wanna do this. Uh, an idea, if you haven't done this yet, have a mantra in mind, something you can say to yourself when things get really tough. So instead of thinking, man, this hurts, I'm super uncomfortable. If you have a mantra, it's something that you can lean on, something that you can focus on when you don't want to have to focus on doing 50 burpees, doing 50 wall balls. Your judge is gonna count. You don't need to be thinking about the numbers. So let your judge count those numbers so that you can just keep grinding and not having to think about what's next. So that's, that's my advice. Pick a mantra. You know, you could do hard things. I've done harder things. Pain is temporary. This is just a moment. Um, I'm strong. I've got this any of those things, anything that personally resonates with you. This feels really, really hard in the moment, but trust me, we've all done things that are harder than a 20 minute workout of burpee box jump overs. Life throws you so many harder things than this, but when your heart rate, which mine was near 180 or over 180 for most of this, is at that level, it feels like you've never done something this hard in your entire life, but you have. This is just a moment. It is just a second in time. It hurts, but just do your best. And the truth is, you don't want to do any of these workouts twice. I don't have any plans to do them twice. So figure out something that helps you um, feel confident, feel good, keep moving. Don't worry about anything but moving and just doing your best you want to do your best you want to feel like you put the effort in two wobbles there is pretty sad but my heart rate was so high and uh, my legs from the burpee box jumps from the wall balls were super sore and you know what i hate i didn't really look at this angle before i shot the video but uh, wall balls are one of those things that if you're not at the exact exact right angle and you're not getting extreme depth they can easily look like you're riding the line. And some of these look riding the line, but I had a judge, the judge watched. So I am just going with, you know, angles aren't always uh, kind, but you know, you're moving fast too. You just got to defer to the judge. So I think she said they were good. We're just going with, they were good. This was, but I was looking at other people's and like so many people's wall balls. I'm like, are they really deep enough? I don't know. I just trust the judge. That was a no rep on the wall ball. I didn't even bother trying to catch it because I'm, I just needed a second after no reps. But just uh, this, I definitely did not have a plan. If you're good at wall balls, maybe going with a plan, 10 reps, five reps even. 
As long as you keep on it and keep that rest short. That was a very high throw. <laughs> Just trying to make sure it's high enough so I don't get no rep again. But if you are good with wall balls, I think going in with a plan, going in with a rep scheme can be helpful. I went in my first round and just tried to do a high number of wall balls just to like get a good set out of the way. But then after it, I was just chipping away. I was just trying to keep moving because the thing is you can't stare at the ball and hope it's going to levitate up to the target. You've got to keep moving. You've got to keep trying. Even if you're only doing small reps, it's better than doing no reps, unless you know that you can rest for a second and then knock out a really, really big set. But otherwise, my suggestion, keep moving, keep picking up the ball, keep chipping away. That's your best bet every time. So just keep keep trying. It's, uh, <laughs> it's just a tough workout let me tell you it's a it's a tough workout but if it helps you it's just 20 minutes you just got to keep moving you're gonna survive it so survive keep going soon we'll get to see scores for this i don't even know really what a good score for this is i if you don't know yet but i get into the third round which looks pretty realistic seeing where i am right now i'm in the second round of wall balls so almost halfway through all of the reps. Someone at our gym, well, a few people at our gym did finish, or this gym, this is Diablo CrossFit. I was a member at Diablo for about two and a half years. Now I'm a member at Pacific Strength CrossFit in Oakland, but Diablo is running a bunch of heats because they have a really high number of athletes who made quarterfinals, which is awesome. So it's a really organized place to know that I will have the space, the resources to do the quarterfinals workouts. So we are here doing them and uh it is it these are tough dave castro is a brilliant programmer and his workouts they hurt even when they look simple and i'm like oh we're just gonna do some wall balls and we're just gonna do some burpees no problem it's uh <laughs> it's a problem it's hard back to the burpees i tried to walk right over and get down pretty quickly. I didn't want to stare at the ground. I didn't want to stare at the box. I just kind of wanted to make sure I was grinding through and keeping moving. And I know like doing the first two or three reps, I'm like, dang, I've got so many more of these to go. <laughs> because I like a burpee would have been easy. A burpee just doing a burpee or even a burpee to a target would have been substantially easier for this workout. This workout becomes a leg workout because you have the wall balls squatting you have the burpee box jumps. That's what makes it so significant. Now, if we just had, like I said, burpees to a target, would have changed this whole thing. Burpees over a bar would have also changed this whole workout. This is a big jump after doing a significant number of wall balls. That's something to think about. You don't wanna wreck yourself on the box. You don't wanna hurt your shin. So you just have to stay consistent. You could turn and face the box each time. That is allowed. It's not as efficient, but it is something you can do if you're nervous about jumping laterally. So just something to keep in mind, something to play with maybe if you're a little bit nervous about the jump. Otherwise, lateral is probably your best bet to just jump sort of sideways and not turn all the way around every time. But dang, laying on the floor for a second because it's just, it's a, it's a slow grind. It, and treat it like an AMRAP, most people. There are people that are gonna finish, but the people that I've seen finish for the most part, at least, you know, more regular athletes, not people that are, you know, potentially winning or competing for a spot at the CrossFit Games, like winning semifinals or competing for a spot for the CrossFit Games. I'm talking about your very competitive people in your normal gyms. I've seen some people finish in like the 19s, but this is for the most part, it's, it's a 20 minute workout. Anticipate moving for about 20 minutes or if you're very fit, close to 20 minutes still. No one's finishing this in 10 minutes. No, no way. I'd be shocked. Maybe, maybe someone could surprise me, but I have my doubts. This is a lot of volume, a lot of volume. There's a full Karen in this, 150 wall balls. That is a ton 
of wall balls. Also, part of my problem is I really didn't want to get back to the wall balls. I'm like, dang, how, how much do I want to do these burpees? Because after these burpees, I get to do more wall balls, and that's not something I want to do. So I, uh, I definitely had a moment of how fast do I want to go? But if you're in the top 25% and you're doing these workouts, that's a privilege. If you're not in the top 25% and you just want to challenge yourself and do the workouts, I also think that's just pretty cool and amazing that you want to suffer with all of us. I know some people who didn't qualify but are still doing the quarterfinals workouts. So that's awesome. If that's you, I definitely applaud you because these are tough and I don't know how much I'd be doing them if I didn't qualify and had a reason to do them. The third workout, the one that I'm doing next, I haven't done it yet when I'm recording this, but that one looks kind of fun. Wow, I stopped on burpees. That's really rare for me. I just was, my heart rate was so high. I looked down, I had a heart rate monitor that I have around my chest um, and it projects onto my watch. It's synced up. So my heart rate was at like over 180, 181, 182, 183. I mean, that's, that's a pretty high heart rate for most of 20 minutes. You're just in, you're in that pain cave and you just have to commit to it. Go back to your mantra in the moments that you think you're not gonna make it because you're gonna be okay. We're all gonna survive this and your clock will save you. At 20 minutes, you are done. I am very interested to see after the leaderboard closes on Saturday, what the scores are like and who is where. That'll be exciting. I looked at the clock, I'm like, dang, how much more time do I have to do this? I was definitely deep in that pain cave and I, uh, I was ready to exit. I didn't want to stay there. And I didn't want to go back to the wall balls, but I'm like, I'm gonna have time to come close to finishing all 50 or finish all 50. So I was like, I gotta get over there and possibly come back to this box after that. So I was just now here just trying to finish them up so I can get as much time on that wall as I can, but also dying, just dying. But anticipate dying and know that you're, uh, you're not actually gonna die. You're just going to suffer a whole lot. And I also recommend doing these with friends in the same room with other people. You don't necessarily need everyone cheering you on if you just kind of want to like zone out, but just knowing other people are around you also suffering in the same way definitely helps and you're definitely going to move slower than you want to so i'm looking at myself i'm like <laughs> keep moving <laughs> and i get why the judge was like you're uh you gotta just keep going you're keep moving keep moving because like it doesn't look as bad as it is when you're actually doing it because it it hurts and i see someone in the back like basically crawling off the floor each time on these burpees it is it is just a challenge and Dave Castro is a programming genius, but you just gotta keep moving and suffering and knowing, know that everyone's feeling the same pain you're feeling. So just keep, keep going and keep chipping away. I didn't really wanna finish these wall balls. I was like, mm, how much is this worth it? Do I want to do this? Do I want to just sort of, you know, let the time expire? But the smart thing is try to move when you can. If you don't pick up the ball and you don't, you know, do what you need to do, you're going to regret it. If you let yourself get into that headspace of, man, I'm suffering so much and I just want to suffer a little bit less. When you watch back your video or you just think back of how you did, you, you're going to have this moment where you're like, <laughs> I should have just suffered a little bit harder. Because after you feel great, you always feel great after a workout. Well, I mean, I guess if you're disappointing yourself, maybe you don't, but for the most part, the endorphins come, you're gonna feel pretty good and you're gonna feel even better if you really push yourself and you max out what you can do. So that's my advice. Know that it will end and you want to make yourself proud. That is so key. Make yourself proud. Doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. You want to be proud when you're finished. You want to be like, man, I just did that. Pat myself on the back. You want to feel that way. You want to be proud of yourself. So 
in the dark moments, in the moments where you're like, it hurts, I want to hurt less, that like self-preservation instinct to just not be in that much pain, remember that you also want to feel good after. You also want to be like, man, I did the thing. So do the thing. That's my biggest advice to you. Also, my biggest set of wall balls in this final set of 50 was my final set here, I believe, and I'm about to start. I was like, you just got to, I think I had 16 left, and I'm like, you got to do this because it's over after this. You might be able to get some burpees if you just, you just do the thing. So I tried to focus on this sucks. I'm not enjoying this. The numbers are not moving as fast as I'd like them to. I wish she was counting faster. <laughs> but I just got to keep moving and then it'll be over. It's going to be over. Run back to the box. I've got like 13 seconds. One, two, three. I don't get this fourth one. But I do do the burpee. Burpee. Yeah, I didn't finish the box jump. And then I just collapsed on the floor. And this hurt. But those last burpees looked fairly good. But I was, uh, I'm in pain. You can see me on the bottom of the screen, just like rolling, writhing in pain. This is very unique to CrossFit. There's a guy up there too, also rolling around. That we just like finish a workout and just roll on our backs. But this was hard. After you're done, enjoy rolling on your back because you're gonna need it. That, like the first one, was harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, there were definitely moments in it that I just wanted to give up, <laughs> but I did not, but the, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard. My, la my biggest set of wall balls in my last round of wall balls was the last set because I'm like, I need to get this done. <laughs> so I did. Um, got three burpees in the last set. There's everything. Hopefully we can get that to focus so that you can see what the reps were. There you go. Back in the car, just wrapping this up by saying thank you so much for watching and sticking with me during that very hard workout. It was like one of those ones where your mind wants to go faster than your body's capable of doing and it's always a little bit frustrating, but I'm pretty happy with how I did. 253, three of the burpee box jumps, like wall balls are not my thing. So I'm happy, you know, like I said, I'm not redoing any of these. This is just purely for fun and to test myself, but just test myself at my basic level, not how much can I gain these and do better, just a tiny bit if I redo them and time myself and all these things. We're not doing that. We're just having fun, trying our best, seeing where we fall. So it's going well. Uh, it's hard. All these workouts, I think, are going to be hard, but you know, that we can do hard things. We've done harder things. I don't know what you've been through as a person, but I know we've all done harder things than a 20 minute workout. So you can do this. It sucks. Stick with it. You've got it. I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see you for workout three. Bye.